If you don't know, every single CAPTCHA where you have to like click the bicycle to solve a CAPTCHA is taken from direct street view imagery. And so I always find it fun to kind of just like sit here and be like, oh, that's a Bangkok taxi. Oh, that's is like probably in the Netherlands with a yellow plate. And this is clearly like Tokyo, another Tokyo. And for me, it's fun to just like go through here and be like, okay, that's probably like a Brazilian bus. This is Colombia. This looks like a random cool US town that's like somewhere south. And I always think to myself, it's a lot easier to just find the exact place this photo is taken rather than trying to actually figure out what they mean when they say select all the squares with buses. Like, do you select this one right here? and this one right here because it also includes a bus? Maybe. The crosswalk, do you include this one right here because it has like that two pixels? It would just be a lot easier to just find the location. Like, why can't that be how to solve a CAPTCHA? And I came across this CAPTCHA randomly in the wild about 10 minutes ago. And I was like, I could probably find this exact apartment or building in the back in under three minutes. So I'm gonna test myself and speed run how fast I think I can find this exact road. Clearly, I haven't done any research into this. I'm going into this extremely, I mean, this is all the information I, I have besides just kind of like the geogastric knowledge where I can clearly see this is more than likely Denmark. And with the history of Street View images on CAPTCHAs, I've noticed from finding them in the past, they're usually in more urban areas or like near capital cities. And so immediately just looking at this image, I was like, okay, this is probably just Copenhagen, but there's a lot of roads in Copenhagen. But I'm gonna see if I can find this exact road and these exact buildings in the back in under three minutes. So I'm just gonna set a timer, see if we can do this. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so the first thing I wanna do is I need to confirm that this is a Copenhagen bus on that bus stop right here. Good images. And okay, that looks like a Copenhagen bus. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm going to filter down to show me only four story houses within a hundred meters or like maybe 20 meters of a bus stop. So I can click building four story public transport stop. And we need to go to Copenhagen. Also, I'm not sure why I'm yapping so much because I need to make sure I can do this in under like three minutes. Okay, and I think this is a good enough area of Copenhagen. And then it's just gonna search and only show me dots on the map where there's a public transport stop within a four story building. I'm gonna do less than that and do like 50 meters. Okay. So that got rid of some. And now we can see that this is a red light right here and there's a four way intersection with a curve going like that. So I'm just gonna scan till I can see something that makes sense. That doesn't make sense, there's no curve. Four way stop, four way stop with a curve. That doesn't, that could make, no, that doesn't make sense because the placement of the bus stop would not make sense. So maybe we're more north. This is a two-way street. This could be potentially it. That's not it. I really thought I could do this in under three minutes. No, that's clearly just a house. Why did I even click that? Oh, this looks good. Why does this look really good? These houses right here, like this looks similar, but it's not quite it. This is it, surely, right? Wait. Yep, okay. What's the time on that? I don't know the time, I didn't start a timer. Maybe that was under three minutes. So the coverage of the location looked like it was like June 2014 coverage. Oh, there's actually June 2014 coverage. Imagine if I just called the date. I mean, we can see the bus here, but maybe if you zoom back, cause we could see on the other image, we're right like past the curve and we're, no, now we're in May 2016, June 2017 maybe. Sometimes Street View Images takes locations that aren't published. There's actually a whole thing of, you can re-roll CAPTCHA images on that website I was demonstrating earlier to get you to show Vietnam coverage that is unreleased in Gen 4, the new coverage. That's not public at all, but it takes the image regardless so you can still see the new updates. But you can see here that we have the house with alternating windows, the bus stop is right over here, and the four-way stop right there with that, that red light right there. And there's the bus in the exact same bus stop in Copenhagen, Denmark. I don't know what the exact time on that was, but hopefully it was sub three or four minutes. And I think I could have been faster. There's other ways I think I could have gone about this and I'm interested in seeing how you guys would have done it. For the sake of efficiency, I used the Bellingcat tool to do this, but you could, could have wrote a code with overpass turbo. And I think that this bus stop here has a shelter. Oh, it doesn't have shelter on it. Does this have shelter? No, it doesn't. You could have wrote, uh, I thought this was a sheltered bus stop and you could have wrote to only show you sheltered bus stops, but that would have actually been a red herring for me because I thought this was 
sheltered but it was not so that's good that I didn't do that and I wish I would have recognized the angle of the street a little bit better a little bit quicker because I could have scanned quicker but all in all it's maybe not an impressive like it's not like something I would sit, sit there and spend 20 hours on but um, I think those are just as fun as like the ones that are really rewarding when you take a lot of time is how fast can you actually get there without like using a street sign to google like the street name if it's visible so when you actually have to use like the like deduction skills to try and find the road it's a it's really fun to do experiments like that. And Google Captcha is a great way to just like, for me to just like go through and test myself. There's a lot of US locations too, but um, if you guys want me to do like another hardware, you could like go through and like I have to try and find like a fire hydrant or something and that could be fun. And that would be a lot longer process. Yeah, like these are all in Southeast Asia, like Philippines, uh, Indonesia. So I uh, see like this one would be fun because then you can look at the bus route right here and you can see the bus 37 to get there. There's so many fun things that you can do with the captures and I think it's so fun, such a cool way to like test your skills. This plate on this pole would be nice to try and find too. Anyways, this is something a little bit different and maybe a little more low effort, but I thought it'd be fun to just like show you guys another tool that I use to help find things pretty quickly. If you guys enjoyed this, subscribe or don't. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.